Okay. So guess what song I listened to last night? What song? Sixty nine, sixty nine. <laughs> I didn't listen 69. to the whole thing. Oh. It's an eight minute. It's a fucking eight minute song. It it's a long it's a song. Long song. I got it's a fucking the... <clears throat> progressive rock song. Yeah. I I got to about the part where he had sex with the alien or some shit. No, there's no alien. He had sex was... with somebody. Yeah. What well, was the girl? It was a. It was the beautiful girl from the future. I thought it was just an alien. No, it's just. I mean, I mean, maybe she's kind of an alien girl, but I think it's all like on Earth. Oh, okay. Well, because the whole point of the song is that just like no one can, no one can have human contact. I didn't, so. I didn't catch that. So that's the that's the whole point of like when he gets there, they're like, "What these ro- this this mechanical robot sign says there's no you can't have human like human contact or human t- human contact is illegal." Didn't catch any of that. The future is terrible. Oh. Did you even listen? <laughs> probably not. I was probably not even paying attention. I was listening to it. It sounded cool though. It is. It's a really cool. I also song. didn't know. I also, has, yeah, because that's the singer from Steel Panther. It does. Yes, it does. He's the one that's like when he goes to like he goes to like the Dick, Dick Elders, and he's just like, "You'll ruin our plans." That was him. Sound the alarm! Yeah, that was him. <laughs> Steel Panther's great. Pretty yeah. They're basically they basically are stuck in the eighties, but in the best possible way. Mm-hmm. Well, that's the whole purpose, yeah, to bring the eighties back. <laughs> that's why it's great. The fucking videos though, from like I watched like some of the NSP videos from like that what that they're in. <laughs> the way they are is just so funny. Yeah, they're so just like everything about them is just chill. <laughs> All right, so we should probably get started. <laughs> That's like we're we're gonna keep that whole thing. Yeah, right? just keep the whole conversation in. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Acute on a new day. It's Sunday, I think. Yeah. It's so depending on where you are, if you're an American, we're going to start your week with some acute. If you're anywhere else in the world that's not North America, it's the end of the week. Because <laughs> their calendars start with Monday. Kind of makes more sense, if you think about yeah. it. But, eh. Let's talk about some stuff. You guys ready to play some games? So probably not that one. So we're going to play some awesome games this week. But our time is running out and we need you... To do you, some tournaments and to bring games and TVs and consoles. Pro- yeah, say, well, yeah, consoles. I, I thought I said that when I said games for some reason. Anyway, and we'll probably also need different. Uh, we may need some extension cords, maybe. Um, probably, maybe not. But we also will need uh, power strips yes. because there's going to be a lot of consoles, and a lot of games, and a lot of TVs, uh, yep. which makes to a lot of, of power, raw power coming out of the wall. So. If you want to bring some stuff, we already, I believe, sent out an email for that. Yep. Also, we uh, have a Facebook post, so put your stuff on there so we don't get too many duplicates. I mean, it's not a big deal if there are multiple Xboxes or whatnot, because we're probably going to... That allows you at least to play more at one time, especially if when tournaments are happening. But at least you can figure out whether or not you need to bring one if five other people are already bringing one. Then you probably don't. So make sure you check those out and let us know if you're going to want to take part in any tournament slash do a tournament or bring some games because then we can make sure that it will be safe because we already have a system in place where we will make sure nobody runs off with their games because that would be very disappointing it would be so the so the announced tournaments are we have so far are smash brothers and then dengenki bokuro fighting climax which is an anime fighting game that'll be good i think that's a good one good choice yes so those two are for sure in the works if you have a tournament that you want us to do oh yeah and splatoon forget about splatoon yeah um if you have another tournament you want us to do to have prizes for please let us know soon we really need to know very soon yeah let's say probably by tuesday yes because af- anytime after that getting prizes is going to be close to impossible yeah at least in time for the event so uh make sure you let us know by tuesday otherwise you can still do a tournament it just won't be for prizes um but so don't let that stop you from wanting to do one and you can make some impromptu ones but 
it won't be run by us then at that point. But if you want one to kind of be mandated by us, let us know. If it's just after Tuesday, it won't have a prize involved. Yes. Games. It's that time of year again. The time where we need you to make t-shirts. As Marshall is wearing right here, you can turn around model for us. So what we need from you guys is to design the back of the t-shirt for this year. Now, the t-shirt color limit for the back design is only three, not including black or white, or the background color of the t-shirt that we choose. Um, and it can be really related to anything. Um, if you just want to make an anime club related design, you can do that. We've had people in the previous years make it based off the animes we've watched that semester. Um, but really, do anything. And we need your... We need your designs by, I believe, the end of November. The, the last meeting in November, I, I don't know the date on the top of my head. We need your designs by then. So if you can't, if you can't have the design like digitized by then, send us a drawing and then scan it and then give it to us so that we can view them on the giant projector screen at the meetings. So I think that's, yeah, then we'll vote for them. And then the next week we'll get the money for the t-shirts. Yeah, so uh, the t-shirts shouldn't cost you too much. It will probably be between 12 and $15 or so. Maybe if they get a little super extravagant, it'll be 16 Ooh, Ooh that's I, a big I price mean, increase from last year. Um, definitely well worth it to try and put your design in because these t-shirts are worn by pretty much almost every member of anime club at some point or another especially because in the past a lot of them have come out around a convention so and if you don't if you're going to a convention and you're not wearing a cosplay these shirts are really cool things to wear because there's it not only helps like advertise our, our anime club like hey come see hey. our anime club but you get a lot of compliments on some of the cool designs. I've worn our, the one from the years past. I got compliments in the back, even though it wasn't actually for okami san It was a lot of people thought it was Sword Art Online. But I did have some people uh, think it was okami san So I thought that was, or knew it was okami san So I thought that was pretty cool. Um, but definitely, uh, if you want to, if you want to grab them, you have to make sure you get your money in when we ask for it, which is going to be the week after, so that first weekend of December. Um, so make sure you take advantage of that. And if you do, if you do just draw it, uh, the reason we definitely want you to make sure you scan it and send it in, even if it doesn't necessarily get digitized by the meeting, um, as long as you at least can scan the drawing, it's good because we don't really want you just walking up there holding it for everyone to not see because it'll look like this back here. Can you see your Nick? Can you see this? Probably not. <laughs> So it'll be like that for a lot of other people. So you'll definitely want to make sure that you at least scan it in and then you can get it to us on a flash drive really at any time up to then. But for the most part, we're just asking you do it on that last meeting in November where the date is here. And then also additionally, if you need help digitizing it, if you can't digitize your drawings, um, you can ask anybody that is a graphic design major they'd be more than willing to help you i'm one um we have probably i think like seven people in in club that are graphic design majors so you can ask any of them um so that they can honestly help you with that i'm not a huge i'm not the best at digitizing drawings but i can try um there's probably a quite a few artists that know how to do that so you can always ask them as well and for pretty much any of those students it'll be good practice for them anyway so i'm sure there's a number that would like to do it t-shirts Oh, <laughs> are you hungry? No, I, we just ate. Oh well, shit. Well, if you want, if you're getting hungry and you want to get some Xenoblade Chronicles X, then you're in luck. Because if you go to Best Buy and pre-order the game, you apparently get free pizza. It's, I know, it's almost as crazy as it sounds. <laughs> so if you want to get your free pizza, it's actually not that hard of a process. As I mentioned, you just pre-order the game and you'll get a essentially an online coupon or gift certificate coupons are different technically uh and for ten dollars off of a pizza at at a, at a website and that will have like a list of pizza places that are participating so probably ones like pizza hut and domino's uh, and you can get for the most of those places are free pizza it's actually pretty cool uh, i believe it's only a limited amount of time and it's only at best buy the only reason we're really advertising this is because it's hilarious. <laughs> I mean, yeah, who doesn't like pizza and video games combined? I mean, 
uh, and if you throw Doritos and Mountain Dew into the mix, you have literally the entire diet of a video gamer. Yeah. So this is pretty uh pretty cool. Um, almost makes me want to buy a Wii U. So the game is coming out December fourth. So make sure you pre-order it before then because this is your last month. This is essentially pretty much just a month this away. This is it. And so if you want to get your pizza. Make sure you get it in. And you have to redeem it, actually, then, by December or January 14th. So, they're definitely giving you a small window in which you get the game and you can play your pizza. But why would you not just get it right away? I mean, come on. Like, it's free pizza. Why don't you just do it now? Why you gotta save it? Mm, it's pizza. Why would you want to wait? Save it now. <laughs> <All right. laughs> I like how you said, play your pizza. And I was about to be like, yeah, I'm gonna... Plug my controller and play the pizza. <laughs> Go, pizza! You want me to start this one? Pepperonis attack! <laughs> yes. <laughs> hey, Marshall, you rated in Netflix and chill? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we gotta try that over. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Marshall, you rated in Netflix and chill? I got a Roku. Well, now you weebs can with this Netflix CEO saying that they're going to make anime in the future. Yes! And that's it. That's all he said. He's looking forward to making anime in the future. Um, he also did it. note that they are planning on spending $5 billion on content in, in 2016. Yeah, B. B. That's, that is, what, nine, nine zeros? That, yep, yeah. that's a lot of zeros. Yeah, that's a lot of zeros. That's a big budget to put into a lot of... Not Actually, there's not... A significant number of shows that Netflix makes. So they seemingly, uh, based on that, are trying to make more uh, to come out in the coming years. I mean, they recently at least came out uh, with that Marco Polo series. And <laughs> and then they've had a lot of success with Orange is the New Black and whatever it's called, House of Cards. <laughs> Almost forgot that name. Uh, so it's, it's very interesting to see that they'll be rolling out some fresh new anime uh, what, how they'll, like, do with studios is gonna be very interesting. So, but this coming directly from the CEO saying that he wants to make anime is pretty special, to be, to, to be honest. The CEO is secretly a weeb. Who would have known? Did, how many potty pillows do you think he has? 27. Damn. It's a lot. All of them, Asuka. <laughs> 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 and that's it, we're done. <laughs> Man, do I have to do a cute by myself again? Have no fear, I am here. Is that you, Senpai? Are you here to notice me? No, Senpai's never gonna notice you. I'm on Skype, you idiot. Oh. So our first news story this week is that Niantic raises $20 million for Pokemon Go. So a new source Variety reported that... Niantic, who also made Ingress, has raised $20 million from Nintendo and Google for its development of Pokemon Go, 